you still haven't made your paradigm of the study, worry not because I am here to help you out. Hey there loves, welcome back to my channel. If you've just hopped onto this video, welcome. I am Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects, and I will be your online research bestie. If you are interested to learn more about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. Previously, I discussed one of the paradigm models, which is the IPO or the Input Process Output Model. Today, I will discuss to you another paradigm model, which is the P model. P stands for program because we utilize this paradigm model if we want to propose a program or an intervention program. Let's not prolong this anymore and we will now start the discussion. The research title, research questions, paradigm of the study or research paradigm that I will be using in this discussion are solely my own. The research title is Research Competence of Teachers in Allen 1 and 2 Districts. Basis for Reinforcement Scheme. This study utilizes a mixed method embedded design which involves quantitative and qualitative methodologies. As defined by Cresswell and Clark 2010, in this study, the researcher combines the collection and analysis of both quantitative and qualitative data within a traditional quantitative research design or qualitative research design. The collection and analysis of the secondary data may occur before, during, and or after the implementation of the data collection and analysis procedure traditionally associated with the larger design. And now we will delve into the research questions. Of course, because we will start with the quantitative methodology, the first research question reflects the profile of the respondents. What is the profile of the teachers in terms of 1.1 age, 1.2 sex, 1.3 monthly salary, 1.4 highest educational attainment, 1.5 civil status, 1.6 position, 1.7 years in service, 1.8 area of specialization, and 1.9 seminars or trainings attended. Of course, this should be related to research. Second research question, what is the level of research competence of the teachers based on 2.1 knowledge, 2.2 skills, 2.3 attitude? Third research question, what are the challenges encountered by the teachers in accomplishing a research work? Fourth, how do the teachers overcome the challenges encountered? Take note that the third and fourth research questions necessitate qualitative methodologies. In gathering the needed data to answer RQs 3 and 4, I am planning to conduct a semi-structured interview among the participants. Fifth, what are the recommended strategies based on the findings of the study? So research question number five is vital in this type of research because it is reflected in my research title that there is a need to propose strategies or intervention program which can reinforce the research competence of the teachers in Allen 1 and 2 districts. This time, let us now proceed in making the paradigm model. So in the first figure, you will list down the research questions starting with the profile so we have profile of the teachers one age two sex three monthly salary four highest educational attainment five civil status six position seven years in service eight area of specialization and nine seminars or trainings attended and then let's have the next one level of research competence of teachers one knowledge two skills and three attitudes next in line are the challenges encountered by the teachers 
Thereafter, we will have how teachers overcome the challenges encountered. Lastly, the recommended strategies. In the next figure, you will write the process. Analysis of data gathered from survey, questionnaire, and in-depth interview through descriptive statistics and thematic analysis. In the third figure, you will write profile research competence Problems encountered by the teachers and recommended strategies were determined. And do not forget to indicate an arrow from the first figure to the second figure and from the second figure to the third figure. So if you have watched the previous video that I uploaded wherein I discussed how to make the IPO model, it is almost similar. The P model differs from the IPO model because we need to include another figure below and you have to write proposed intervention program. And please connect the third figure to the figure that you have added below, the proposed intervention program. Just like that, we are already done with the P model. Again, we utilize the P model if the end goal of our study is to propose a program or intervention strategy. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you, Craft the paradigm of the study or research paradigm, specifically the P model. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and please do love research. Bye!